happy day friends starting this vlog out with a little pmdd update it seems that it may be more common than i anticipated i had not heard of it before i was diagnosed with it and it seems as if a lot of you have similar things going on but it seems as if it is a topic worth discussing i am in the thick of it right now i am in the luteal phase those two weeks after ovulation and for the past three or four months it has been so rough but this time around you guys yes i am still tired yes i am still moody yes i am still irritable but it feels like the edge has been taken off a quick little nap sometimes will help me um, to feel well enough to take care of my kids in the evening just to give myself a little reset i have not been absolutely ravenous like i normally am from ovulation for like a whole week before I take a little break, and then again before my period comes. My cravings have been a little bit less. My irritability and moodiness, they're still kind of there, but I feel like I'm managing it better. I feel like, like I said, that edge has just been taken off, and I can remember to just kind of breathe, give myself a little break, not let myself just be a grumpy pants all day long. <laughs> and so, this vitex fruit chased berry whatever you want to call it that was the protocol that my doctor and i discussed um it's what i chose to move forward with as well as adding vitamin b6 and vitamin d and so far i think it is improving everything not to where i want it to be um but i i do think it is really helping so if you guys i know some of you have uh, been in the depths of the deep dark pit with me. <laughs> Maybe talk to your doctor about that as an option. It seems to be helping me. I am no medical professional. Take what I say with a grain of salt, but I'm feeling pretty good about where this is trending. I think I just heard Lucas. He's been sleeping a little bit more lately just cause he's still kind of getting over everything he went through last week with his double ear infections and his cold and getting over everything. Hi. Hey, happy. Hi, Lucas. Happy day. You're so cute. You're so cute. Oh, yeah, 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 One of my favorite things that we taught Micah, now Lucas is yeah. obsessed with. Cheers! <laughs> now you drink. Cheers! He likes when it makes a good dink sound. Cheers! There's a good one. <laughs> okay, now the other cup. <laughs> No, you can't have my coffee. But mom raves about it. <laughs> <laughs> I rave about my coffee so much that I have already been researching what the coffee is like for a Disney cruise. We have about a month and a half until our cruise and I'm so excited. But coffee is so important to me. So important for my routine, so important for my mornings. Maybe to an unhealthy level, I don't know. But it's up there almost with movement and sleep. My body is tricky and I have to control my bodily functions and anxiety and all of the above as best as I can or I, you know, I sometimes spiral, I'll be honest. But I am very much looking forward to the cruise. I've been picking up little things for the girls here and there because I know that they're growing like weeds and they're gonna need some new summer clothes. And so I've been slowly here and there picking out things, aren't these cute little butterflies? <laughs> picking out things for the girls that I know that they could use or need so that I'm not stressing about it as the time gets closer. As well as doing my research for myself on things like coffee <laughs> and sleep and workouts. I've already scoured the internet for how to get the best best coffee. The gym looks great. Looks like I'll be able to move if I need to. And the sleeping arrangements. <laughs> 
hit or miss. <laughs> I have seen mixed reviews about the beds on the cruise. Sleep is so crucial to my well being, and after sleeping on a Helix mattress for over three years, I don't know how my body is gonna handle sleeping on something less comfortable. This video is sponsored by Helix. We have been sleeping on a Helix, like I said, for over three years, and it has been phenomenal. <sighs> Welcome to the party. Big bed sleep He club. is gonna milk drool all over your face in just a second. <laughs> don't you dare. If you guys don't know about Helix, they are a premium mattress and bedding company. They make the mattress to fit your needs, very personalized, and it's conveniently shipped to your door for free if you live in the US. Their quiz online is super easy to take, only takes about a minute, answer some questions, and they will match you with one of their 20 unique mattresses. They have their award-winning Lux and their super premium Elite mattresses, which we have slept on both. They are both fantastic. They have the Helix Plus, which is for big and tall sleepers, and they also have their kids line, which we have two of. Those are super comfortable as well. But we are currently sleeping on the Elite mattress. It is phenomenal. It has the Glaciotex cooling cover built in. Really nice soft top. Super comfy for cuddles. Go show them. <laughs> With 20 different mattresses, they have something for everybody's unique sleep preferences. Tell the guys. We all sleep Tell on our backs, but this one transitions to your tummy in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> but Austin and I have been back sleepers for a couple years now, in and out of my pregnancies at least. And especially in this stage of life where I'm figuring out PMDD, rest is super important to me. Um, it is really crucial, like I said before. And knowing that I can just come in here 20 minutes, 30 minutes, however much time I can get when I'm feeling so tired and I can just lay down and relax. And even if I don't fall asleep, I know that I am gonna get up feeling better and more relaxed than when I initially laid down. The beds are also fiberglass free, no fiberglass involved in the making of these mattresses. So you know you can sleep on them safely, especially if you have little ones that you're concerned about. You having fun with dad, bud. Always. He loves playing with dad. <laughs> get ya. I could get you if you don't fast enough. <laughs> I could get ya. I could get ya. <laughs> Sounds like somebody might almost be ready for a nap. <laughs> Look at those teeth coming in. You ready for a nap? You ready for a nap? You ready for a nap? <laughs> Yeah, I you think said so. the magic word. Their mattresses come rolled up in a box, super easy to set up yourself. Just place <laughs> it where you want it and watch it come to life. Super fun, super easy. And if buying a mattress online seems a little sketch to you, Helix gets it. That's why they offer a 100 night sleep trial so you can make sure that you love it. They also come with a 10 year warranty. They have financing options and flexible payment plans if you need to go that route. So if you guys are in the market for a mattress, definitely go check out Helix. We have absolutely loved our experience with them. You can click the link in the description or go to www.helixsleep.com slash happy day. That will get you 20% off and two free pillows. And now it's your turn for bed, sir. Deal. Sir Lucas, oh. not you. No, I'm going to bed. Your little migraine is hurting you. You poor little. Little? Thing. I'm just teasing Migraines you. are never little. I am just teasing. Austin handles things very well. He doesn't get man colds. And so I know when he is feeling like this, he just needs rest and quiet and darkness. Thanks for that, babe. Which means you're coming with me, sir. Oh, <laughs> right in the face. Drooly, drooly. <laughs> All right, come on, bud, let's take you to bed. Before I forget, you should also talk to your doctor about migraines and see if there's anything about that. Yeah, that'd be great. Wait, let's take medicine before I go? Yeah, you're not gonna get blood work done today. That'll be a different day. Oh. Yeah, you're just gonna talk to them and they're gonna figure out what tests you need to do for them oh, to figure out. Okay. Austin is lucky and today he gets to go to the doctor. Same doctor that I went to for all my stuff. He's going for possible, I don't know if they can help with migraines or anything, but possible hypoglycemia, testosterone issues. Who I knows? don't have any testosterone <laughs> issues, I'm a barely man. <laughs> Who knows what kind of issues you have. Berries went on sale at Sam's Club. <laughs> Yeah, berries for everybody. Berries and cream. I don't think I've bought berries 
aside from one time around Christmas time because they have been so dang expensive. And now the price is starting to go down, so I stocked up and I am excited for berries all season long, hopefully. Oh, he jumped. You got, did he like fly? What? No, he just jumped down. I ran up here. Austin tells me there's a big bird in our backyard. And I ran up here and I barely saw it before he jumped down. It was a dang turkey. Yeah, we have a there turkey. There was a turkey. Was it in our yard? Yeah, it was It was walking around. And then it the jumped garden. up to our fence? Yeah. <laughs> we live in a wild area. How? <laughs> it came from, it came from over here, like it walked. It just strolled up our... Yeah. What in the world? Yeah, now it's in the neighbor's yard. Well, they've got a lot of dogs, so I yeah. hope he can fly fast. Not gonna lie, this is a little weird. I haven't had a legit doctor's appointment in forever, it feels like. I think the last one I had was just for skin. <laughs> I think it was to check over my moles. I just don't go to the doctor, hardly ever, knock on wood. So I don't know, but I'm, I feel a little bit nervous. Just I think it's because I just never go. I've always accompanied others, but never really for myself. So it's kind of just like, in a weird way, uncharted territory, but hoping to find some answers today. My energy levels, not as drastic as Jess's, but for a long while, have kind of been all over the map. It seems to be sugar related. I've, in a weird way, kind of self-diagnosed hypoglycemia. My mom's diabetic, or well, pre my mom is pre-diabetic and my grandma was diabetic. So, we'll just kind of see. I don't know. It'll be nice to finally get some answers, see if we can figure out what exactly is the root cause of everything for me. Um, kind of interesting. I don't know, we'll see. Wait, what? So what did they hook you up to? Since, I've got a. I've got a. Ready in seven minutes. I've got a glucose monitor on my tricep. What? Yeah. I need to see this. It's like a little tiny patch. I look like a smoker with a nicotine problem. <laughs> Does it hurt? Is it like it's in you? Like, yeah, it's it in monitors me. your blood. It's in me. That's right here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> It'll be there for two weeks. Weird. I haven't even seen it. I didn't expect that. Wow. What? You mean you didn't expect that? I mean, I thought they'd test your blood and then tell you their results, but I guess this is their way. Yeah. Since you suspect hypoglycemia, I you gotta kinda have need it for two weeks. You kinda need like Monitor. constant <laughs> results and monitoring of how certain things affect your blood sugar. Yeah. He was saying that the things that I have are definitely symptomatic of it but he's like it could just be because it's your body's normal reaction when you have low blood sugar he's like your he's like your threshold like here's normal he's like and your sensitivity might start here whereas like a normal person would start here like way down here and so huh. it's like your sensitivity might just be higher Oh, okay. Not necessarily have hypoglycemia, but might just have like higher sensitivity, higher sensitivity to having low blood sugar. Interesting. Yeah, kind of. So, but I mean, we've we've kind of th talked about it in the heat, also. Yeah. Like you can't handle the heat, yeah. and that is a symptom of hypoglycemia, right? It drives me nuts. Yeah, it's so so annoying at times. But I've over the years I've realized like okay, it's a real thing. He's not just making a fuss about being warm. <laughs> He's legit, like, burning inside. You're dying. <laughs> yeah, gosh, it was our honeymoon, and we were in where? Grand Cayman? Grand Cayman. And it was hot out. Like, was I was like, even hot. It was like 90-something with 100% humidity. <laughs> it was so hot. But he was just being such a downer, and I'm like, oh, gosh. Like, I wasn't trying on. to be. I know, I realize now, like, over the years, I've grown to realize like he just his body doesn't handle it yeah. it does something to you <laughs> so we'll see I, that's, it fries that's... my circuitry oh, four, so more minutes. Got four more minutes what's he gonna tell us and all of a sudden it's gonna start alarms you're just gonna start firing are you feeling tired you're dying right <laughs> you're on the edge of a cliff you're about eat some food eat some food are you feeling tired are no, you having I, your slump i feel pretty good I still haven't got a burger on the way home. Oh. i was so hungry i've eaten it now it's time for a we all know where she loves to go. 
and cheese. Yeah, see what your alarm does when you eat, eat yeah. that. So, kind of fun. This is just a little note for us Here, in the future. This. On every single one of Micah's assignments, it has her oh. name and date up top, and she always writes Micah Spomer, and then date Menchies. Because that's her favorite that's place her to go. That's her favorite for a place date. to go. <laughs> and she thinks that it means a date. I and almost, we have not corrected her no, because I, we find it too adorable. Yeah, I almost started to correct her one day and I was like, never mind, that's perfect. And I just, I didn't want it to end. Yeah, yeah. and that's fine. Yeah, it's just, just so Enjoying cute. the little things. You're flinging coffee everywhere. I was doing it for the sound effect. Yeah, I know, but... It's the final countdown to lean you. You're getting it on your... Everywhere. Where? It was flinging everywhere. It's not anywhere. Here it comes. The uncertainty. You just put your hand on a bunch of coffee. Did, yeah. you, not, did you not see what you did to oh, your I'm own? Oh, there. Yeah, I'm <gasps> What's that mean? Oh, I'm good. I'm in the green. The green? I'm good. Sense are ready. I am 155. in range. Perfect. And I feel good. I feel good right now. So what I'm going to need to do... When you start feeling bad, see what it's doing. Yeah, so I need to do that. But also, I'm also going to need to go to the gym. Yeah. And do it without running. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll keep you updated. Us figuring out our health one doctor appointment at a time. 2024! It's our year. The year of health. Are you starting the craft already? <laughs> I found these little things. Paige and I went to the craft store the other day and we got these cute little packets. Are you ready to get started now? You don't want to wait for Micah? Mm -hmm. Okay. That one is yours. What we saw in our backyard today. What? Go, give me a hint. Give her a hint, Dad. Go! Chicken. <laughs> no, try again. What goes? What gobble, goes? Gobble, gobble, gobble. Go! 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 Turkey. Yes. yes! A turkey was we in our backyard. We had a wild turkey in our backyard. And it hopped up on the fence, but it went over into the neighbor's yard. I'm, I keep looking to see if it'll come back. But I haven't seen it yet. I Did think he is lost. Yeah, I didn't see anything. Oh no, not over there. I didn't. Oh, is it a real life turkey? It was a real yeah. turkey. Did you get any video on your phone? I got a picture. I want to see it. Show my guy. Look, there it is on our fence. Oh my goodness. That's not. A Look, there it is in our yard. Yeah, that's a turkey. Turkey lurkey. We had a turkey in our yard. Is this normal? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's all within normal range, right? You said it never went out of normal range. No. But, but I you also said done right. You crazy. said that low. You like started feeling tired. Yeah. So this was right when you guys saw. The right when, right yeah. when it started. Uh huh. And then I went driving, and I had three little sips of coffee, and I crashed, and I could feel it. My eyes were getting heavy energy was being drained from me. And I've noticed that I, it's very particular, or I'm very particular on what coffee I can actually have. Some coffee treats me great, some coffee crashes me. So this was one of those coffees that made me crash. And the thing is, is it didn't have like crazy amounts of sugar or anything. Then we got to Menchie's, <laughs> and then I did have ice cream and sugar. Well, I had well, frozen yogurt. Yeah, but that, I mean, that's a sugary thing. If, if you had like, yeah. Diabetes or something, that would have spiked it up crazy. Right? I don't know. I have no idea. So I think we're you're learning. okay. We're learning in real time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is non-PhD talk <laughs> happening. Non-educated folk chat happening. Okay. <laughs> then we climb and then I just had dinner and crash again. And I could feel it like every time. Every time you eat, you crash. I feel like that seems opposite. And this happens like not every time I eat, like when I eat the burger, that treated me great. 
Yeah, we don't I, have the data to prove that. Though. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> we don't have the data for the burger. The burger did great. It was probably like up here. I don't really know. Oh, that would be terrible. But anyway, it's like I don't know. I don't know if I'm just sensitive to it or what. But like I feel a crash and I could take a nap like, every time. Maybe you've got PMDD. Maybe. Maybe it's rubbing Maybe off on you. I have too much estrogen in my system. Maybe. And Are I'm they running start, an estrogen I'm test? I'm start racking some cash. <laughs> Oh my gosh. We have no idea what's I going mean, on. With Austin, but they are they are running tests on testosterone. Testosterone, estrogen. Oh, they are doing estrogen? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean that's good probably. I don't, Maybe. I don't really know. I don't really that's know why either. you went to the doctor, because I don't know. Lots of stuff we gotta figure out with our bodies. I feel pretty good today, actually. Like yeah. Maybe I never I just need felt chased berry. I never felt like I needed needed a nap. Like I felt tired. But I didn't feel like I was, like I couldn't walk or anything. Like, it was good. Figuring out our bodies. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Now we're in our 30s. Almost. What do you mean we're late almost? 30s. Oh. I'm gonna get you for that. It doesn't feel like you're. I'm gonna your, get you for that. It doesn't feel like you're in your late 30s. Late 30s. You still <laughs> seem like you should be in your early 30s or even 20s. <laughs> <gasps> well, we're gonna give these kids some attention. Give this Lukey boy some more attention because you just woke up. You having your dinner? Cheers. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye, friends. Bye. Love you.